Discover the fascinating world of royal touch in medieval Europe. In this video, we'll delve into the intricate intersection of faith, medicine, and monarchy, exploring how monarchs of the time were seen as bearers of divine healing power. From ceremonies filled with pomp to beliefs rooted in the divine right of kings, we'll take you through centuries of history to understand how this practice influenced society and politics in the Middle Ages. Get ready for a historical adventure that will unveil the secrets behind one of medieval Europe's most intriguing traditions. The practice of royal touch in medieval Europe is a fascinating phenomenon that illustrates the profound interconnection between faith, medicine, and monarchy. This tradition, rooted in the belief that monarchs possess divine healing power granted by God, reveals how the spiritual and the temporal intertwined in European realms. From the times of Edward the Confessor in the 10th century to Henry IV of France in the transition between the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, royal touch became an essential element of royalty. Edward, known for his piety, was one of the first to carry out this practice, consolidating it as a ceremony of healing and an act of grace. Similarly, Henry I of France, whose reign marked the end of the 10th century and the beginning of the 11th century, was devoted to this tradition, conducting ceremonies that strengthened his role as a spiritual and temporal leader. The royal touch ceremony was a public event full of pomp, where the sick, many of whom suffered from scrofula, were presented to the monarch, who touched them and often offered them blessed amulets and touch coins as part of the healing process. This practice not only provided comfort and hope to the sick, but also reinforced the image of the monarch as a divinely anointed being capable of interceding with the divine. Under the reign of Louis XIV of France, also known as the Sun King, in the 17th century, royal touch reached its peak. Louis XIV practiced it fervently, considering it a manifestation of his divine authority and his role as the spiritual guardian of his kingdom. During his reign, the practice was not only an act of faith but also a powerful propaganda tool that reaffirmed the central role of the monarchy in the political and spiritual life of France. However, with the emergence of the Enlightenment and the growth of rational and scientific thought, as well as political changes that questioned monarchical absolutism, the practice of royal touch began to be viewed with skepticism. By the end of the 18th century, the tradition had become obsolete, considered a relic of a bygone era that saw monarchs as divine intermediaries. The examination of royal touch in the Middle Ages invites reflection on the changing nature of power, faith, and medicine throughout history. This practice offers a window into the past, revealing how the beliefs and traditions of an era can shape political and social institutions. It is a fascinating aspect of history that allows us to explore the many threads that make up the complex mosaic of human history. In conclusion, royal touch in medieval Europe represents much more than a simple act of healing. It is a phenomenon that allows us to delve into the complexities of the society of the time, where faith, medicine, and monarchy intertwined in a unique way. Through this practice, monarchs sought not only to heal their subjects, but also to affirm their divine authority and their central role in political and spiritual life. As we explore this fascinating tradition, we not only uncover the secrets of the past, but also how beliefs and traditions can profoundly shape social and political institutions. We invite you to continue exploring history and sharing your reflections on this captivating topic. Subscribe, like, and share for more historical content that sparks your curiosity.